Even in high school, I knew I wanted to be an engineer. I went to uh, college at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. Illinois had a really good undergraduate lab on how to make an integrated circuit. So I actually made my first uh, primitive uh, integrated circuit uh, uh, at the U of I, and that really got me interested in uh, integrated circuit processing. So that's the type of career I, I looked for when I graduated uh, with my master's degree in 1978, early 1978. Boy, I really thought uh, the Silicon Valley was heaven. Um, but frankly, when I moved there, I, I learned that uh, heaven was made out of concrete. <laughs> and uh, uh, about eight months after I joined Intel, I had a chance to transfer up to Oregon, and I jumped at the chance, and I've been happy here for now more than 40 years. When I joined Intel in 1978, uh, all major companies were uh, uh, developing and making DRAM memory chips, uh, and so was Intel. But eventually, uh, in the mid-1980s, we just weren't uh, uh, very competitive in that type of business, and we switched our focus to microprocessor chips, and. Uh, Today, we're the largest uh, microprocessor chip company in the world. Well, you have to have a, a thirst for success. You have to have a, a, a thirst to, to learn and improve. And you have to get along well with other people. Uh, you need to share your ideas with them. You need to listen to their ideas. And together, you, you come up with uh, much better solutions. I now re refer to innovation as a team sport. <laughs> You know, it's not enough to have you know, one or two bright engineers who think they've got uh, the very best idea. You've got to you have to really be able to get the whole team to work together to say, uh, hey, this is a, a good goal, an important goal for us to achieve. Uh, and each team player needs to contribute their part, whether it's a, they're a better transistor engineer or a thin films engineer or a patterning engineer or a reliability engineer. They need to collaborate, uh, identify what's maybe weak about a proposal, an idea, uh, and come together to uh, learn, decide how to, to solve those, those problems. Most people uh, now see uh, uh, thin and light laptops and cell phones as a very common technology. Uh, must be easy for the engineers to do this, since I see so many of them and they get a little <laughs> bit better every year. And, and what they don't realize is just how much technology is in that small thing you hold in your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, technology that's been developed by thousands of engineers uh, across different companies and in, in all, almost all corners of the world. Uh, so I don't think they realize just how much technology and so many different types of technology are, are in the the consumer devices that, that they use today. Well, next month will uh, we'll mark my 41-year anniversary at Intel. Um, but I, I started thinking a year ago, when, when, when is the time to retire? Uh, and as I looked ahead, I realized uh, now would be a good time. Not, not because I am tired of the work I do. I come in every day today, and I'm just as excited as I was uh, 10, 20, 30 years ago. But you know, it has been 41 years. Uh, I am 65 years old and uh, life is finite, so now is the time to try something different uh, while I can.